everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Canna Campbell from Sugar Mama TV. Today's video, I'm sharing with you my top 10 clutter busting habits. Now, I'm someone who loves a minimal home. I love a clean, tidy, organized space. It gives me a great sense of tranquility, focus, and space. However, I will admit, I'm constantly tidying, decluttering, organizing, and just putting things away. It is an ongoing journey, particularly with a really messy partner, three young children, and two large dogs. But in working on decluttering, I've built some really helpful, efficient habits and hacks that really help make keeping my home clutter-free and minimal as much as I possibly can really efficient. So I'm going to share these with you right now. So please make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and of course that notification bell is switched on. Hack number one, have a no junk mail sign on your letterbox. By doing this, you are immediately stopping excess paper coming into your life. And it's also really good for the environment. Also, whenever a bill does come in, try if you can and switch it to paperless. This will also add a lot of efficiency in your life because if you ever need to find an old bill or a receipt, you can find it digitally. Habit number two is to put kitchen appliances away. Now, I know there is a fine balance between the efficiency of having those kitchen appliances easily accessed on your kitchen bench top versus the energetic benefits of having them put away. But if you can try and put as many away as possible, you will see that your kitchen immediately looks so much more tidy and organized. Another great hack within this hack is to have those kitchen appliances put away together. Have one dedicated drawer or cupboard where you put the toaster and the kettle and the blender away so you know exactly where to quickly and easily access these. Habit number three is to use my rule of 10. So whenever my house is looking like a bomb has hit it, I will apply the rule of 10. I do one of these two different things. I will either set an alarm for 10 minutes and I will try and beat the clock by putting away as many things as possible before the alarm goes off. Try this, you'd be amazed as to how many things you can really put away and it becomes a little bit of an exercise workout as well as a really fun game. Or when I'm really tired and just simply cannot be bothered, I will simply say to myself, just go and put away 10 items in this room or in this house. Again, just putting away the 10 things, you'd be amazed as to suddenly, quickly and easily, your home, your space is looking so much neater and organized. Habit number four is to find a home for everything within your home. If you go and buy something, obviously responsibly discard the packaging, but find a home for it immediately. If you use a towel, hang the towel back up. If you pull out your laundry from the washing machine, fold your clothes up and put them away in their dedicated home. And once you have done this, stop and take a moment for yourself to feel proud that your home and space is neat, tidy and organized. And it will no longer feel like a chore, but a proud habit. Habit number five is to make your bed. I will admit I hate making my bed, but when I do invest time making my bed, I feel so much better about myself and it adds a better start to the day because I've already accomplished something so early in the day. And when I come home at night after a long hard day, coming home to a bedroom with a made bed makes me feel so much better. It creates a great sense of tranquility and calmness, which is only going to help encourage a better quality night sleep. Habit number six is to have common items grouped together. Not only will this help keep your home clutter free, but it also will add a lot of valuable efficiency in your life because you know where items are, which is particularly important if you're trying to get out of the house in a hurry. So say for example, kids toys. Have all the kids toys grouped together in the one basket. Have all of your laundry in the one laundry basket, not cluttered over the bathrooms and the bedrooms and the hallway. Make sure it all goes into the one central destination. Your keys, your phone, your wallet, your face mask all goes to a disc, say, on a hall table. So if you need to leave in a hurry, 
That is exactly where you left your items. You know exactly where to find them in a hurry. Habit number seven is to reduce your homewares. Now buying homewares is definitely a weakness for me. I love buying beautiful things for my home and decorating my surfaces. But one thing I have realized is sometimes we can end up adding so much clutter in our life, even though we have the intention of making it look beautiful, neat and tidy. So I have a rule of three. For my surfaces, I do not allow any more than three items of decoration. And where possible, I try and make sure one of those three items comes from nature. So it might be a piece of wood, or it might be a piece of coral or a barnacle. But I really try and reduce this as much as possible. And when I've done this, I have found that it allows the beauty of that homeware to really stand out. My homewares aren't drowning or competing against each other. They can actually be seen and they can actually be appreciated. Habit number eight, and that is to use your phone and take a photograph for sentimental items. I am always being asked by people, what do I do with my kids' art, sentimental items that I've collected as a teenager, love letters, those sorts of things. And my answer is always the same. I simply take a photograph, scan it and save it digitally in my life. That way, if I ever need it, I can quickly and easily find it on my computer. Now, of course, this might be a little bit nerve wracking doing this. So I recommend you test it out for a period of time and see how you feel. If you feel that you still need to hold on to that, say three, four, five months later, or even a year later, then of course, hold it. But if you realize, you know what, you're really comfortable referring to the photo and it still gives you that same warm, fuzzy feeling, it's time to let go of that physical object. You've got the photo that saves a lot of time and space in your life and does the trick. Habit number nine is to try and create a sense of uniformity. This means having common items stacked and organized together that are very similar. If you were to come into my home and open up my kitchen drawers, you would see that my plates belong to a set. Now by doing this, I have all my plates stacked up neatly on top of each other. When it comes to unpacking the dishwasher, they're quickly and easily put away, but they sit neatly within my drawers. The same goes for my cutlery, there are no odd sets, and the same goes for my glasswares and my mugs. And when it comes to my drawers, I try and fold my clothes in the same type of way. So I will fold my t-shirts in the same manner so that they sit neatly stacked on top of each other. I also hang all my clothes in the same way, facing the same direction. By investing just a couple of minutes to do this, for your drawers and for your cupboards. You'll find the next time you go to open those drawers and cupboards, there's an incredible sense of tranquility and calmness and organization. And you'll feel inspired to want to keep it this way. And habit number 10 is to stay committed and connected to the decluttering journey. As I said at the beginning of this video, there is no quick fix solution. These habits are habits that I've built up over a long period of time as I've gone through my journey of minimalism and I'm still on that path of adventure and discovery. Make sure you never try and trick yourself into living a fake life of minimalism where it looks like you're a minimalist but when you go to open up a cupboard or a drawer, it's a hot mess. When you choose to declutter your home, it's an ongoing process. It starts with one drawer, one cupboard, one space in your life and it continues to evolve and spread if you allow it. So open yourself up, have faith in the process and trust it. You will find that you learn so much more about yourself, about what you stand for and what is important to you. So stay committed and allow yourself to experience the wonderful world of less, where you end up actually living a far richer, authentic and meaningful life. All right, everyone, please let me know in the comment box below what decluttering habits you have and what one you like the most from this video. Now, don't forget, you can also follow me on Instagram on my everyday personal account at Canna Campbell Official. And as I said, I'd love to hear from you, so make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and that notification bell is switched on. Ciao for now.